This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Denver. Eating fish may lower the risk of developing diabetes in children with a known family history. Researchers studying nearly 1,800 children who were genetically predisposed to developing diabetes noted that those who regularly ate a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids were 55% less likely to develop antibodies seen in diabetics. Omega-3 fatty acids are found in fish, flaxseed oil, walnuts, and soybeans. From Chicago, for the first time in 70 years, the American Dental Association is giving its stamp of approval to chewing gum as long as it's sugar-free. The ADA is awarding its seal of approval to Wrigley's Sugar-Free Gums, Orbit, Extra, and Eclipse because independent reviews show that sugar-free gum reduces cavities in plaque and strengthens teeth. From New York, MRI is now frequently used to screen women at high risk for breast cancer, but MRI has a high false positive rate, which means many biopsies are performed unnecessarily. A new methodology, when done in conjunction with MRI, may change this. Researchers have shown that proton magnetic resonance spectroscopies eliminate the majority of unneeded biopsies without missing cancerous lesions. And finally from Pittsburgh, the cornerstone of preventive care, the annual physical examination, may not help much in disease prevention. Researchers noted that while approximately 1 in 12 office visits are for annual physicals, nearly 80% of disease prevention is done at another time. At a cost of nearly $8 billion, the benefit of this practice remains unproven. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.